Hello everyone and welcome back to Water Child Tarot. My name is Sarah. Thanks for joining me today for part one of a two-part uh, series that I wanted to do on this deck here in the middle. This is the JK Weight or the Weight JK, also known as the Tarot by Alexandria Jupiter King. And this was a deck that was published in Japan for the Japanese market. So it takes the most of its imagery from the Rider Waite Smith deck, but updates it for Japanese culture, color preferences, directionality, symbolism, etc. And I was curious about both the influences on this deck and then the influences that this deck had over the next couple of decades. So here we're going to compare it with two other decks. On the left here, the famous Pink Ankh Backs. This is the University Books uh, published tarot of the Rider Waite Smith with the uh, kind of psychedelic 60s colors. This would have originally come out in 1960, and this is a first edition here. Um, the colors do get more garish uh, with this one as you go on to subsequent printings. So um, this would have been you know, earlier on. And then over here we have the Frank Albano deck, the Albano um, weight. And this was published in the late 60s. I believe this copy would have been around 68 or 69, but I'm not sure because I don't have the box um, or any of the paperwork that it would have come with it. So dating it is a little bit difficult. Um, and you can see that these two are fairly similar, uh, at least in this first card, whereas the middle one gets quite different. But it'll be interesting to look at the, the comparative um, features of these three as we go through. I'm especially interested in color um, and the use of color in these decks. So just going by what we know about the production of a tarot deck, particularly with the technology of the time um, and how long it would have taken to do 78 original paintings, my guess is that uh, one of these two would have been the main basis for the JK weight. Um, but I, I don't have any you know, historical facts to go by. If you know more about that or if you have any documentation, please uh, share it in the comments. Um, there is a chance that this deck could have been based off of more of like a yellow box, a more um, early 70s um, deck, but because of all the bright colors uh, in this deck that are much more saturated and vibrant than you would have found in a yellow box copy, um, I'm thinking it must have been based on at least one of these more psychedelic uh, colored decks. So let's just take a look through the cards together and we can, you know, sort of compare and contrast the use of color in these decks. Now I will say that the middle deck here, the JK Weight, is also influenced by the um, deck that was put out by Bota, Builders of the Adidum. They are a metaphysical um, or occult society that's still going on today, and they produce their own tarot deck. Um, so I will put a link in the description box below where Melissa Zupan does a more in-depth comparison of the JK weight of this deck, and um, for instance, in this card, the Bota deck is more of an influence on this emperor than either of these two are. So we know that um, the originator, uh, Alexandria Jupiter King, had access to at least two decks um, when he decided to make his own version. So he would have had some kind of a Rider Waite Smith deck, and then the Spoda deck, and maybe others. Um, but those two definitely have the clearer influences. And again, you can see that in Melissa's walkthrough. And 
as we go through these, I encourage you to make note of what, you know, what differences jump out at you and what you think of those and leave a comment below. I do love the use of dark blue skies in the JK Waite. There's a few cards that have this. And this Hermit is also influenced by the Builders of the Adidum deck. Also the clouds have a lot more color and texture throughout the deck. We'll see that in a few places. This is another example where the um, Builders of the Adidum deck has more of an influence on the design. What I want to know is, you know, whether J.K. Waite, I'm, I'm sorry, <laughs> uh, Alexandria Jupiter King, whether he came here or whether he somehow imported decks to Japan. I also want to know if he ever met Stuart Kaplan. Now this um, Albano Waite, um, I was always afraid of the death card, not because of the skeleton, but because of the red-eyed horse and the, the red sky. Uh, behind and the red sky is interesting we've seen red skies in other cards so far and red is a very um, significant color in Japanese culture so I'm, I wouldn't necessarily draw a direct correlation and say oh they they copied the red sky here it could have just been this was another card that warranted the color red but the um, similarity is interesting here you have more of an orange background, and here a brown, and this is gray. Again, another card that looks more like the Builders of the Adidum uh, Devil card with this shape here in the middle. Here you have another red background. I don't think you could attribute all of the red backgrounds to copying um, a deck. Could be an original idea. As we go through the pip cards, we're going to see that Frank Albano decided that the background colors should be more themed than they were in the original here. So we have orange for the wands.
One thing that catches my eye here is that the colors of liquid in the cups are different in the, the JK weight. And then over here you have a green puddle and a red puddle. And over here you have all one color red. Um, I don't know if that's significant or not. I do love the addition of all this color in the clouds up here and then the, just the dynamic um, energy of all the rain coming down. Um, it's much more interesting than either of these two versions. Oh, and I just noticed that Frank Albano added jewels to the hilt of his swords, so those don't exist here or here really.
We do get three different styles of pentacle here. The classic all gold. We have black and gold and we have green and red. All right, so that concludes our walkthrough. Thank you for watching, and let me know what you thought um, between the the, uh, the university books, the Albano weight, and then the JK weight. Which which of these played uh, more closely to this one? Uh, it's kind of hard to tell, I think. So I'm not going to draw any conclusions, but it was interesting to look at these side by side. And join me next time, I'm going to look at some influences of this deck on other decks uh, produced in Japan. So until then, be well, and I'll talk to you soon.